That background can change offensively. The crowd can get into you offensively. But defensively, if you have the discipline to state how to communicate, to do the little things that make you a good defensive team, you're going to win a lot of basketball games. Now we've set up the court with an offense and defense to demonstrate the 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. First of all, let's go to 21. Remember, 20 is a half court, signifies half court. The one signifies we're going to trap the dribble. In this scenario, what we want our defender is to push the ball toward the side. The second key is our second defender in the most likely pass has to play well up the line toward the ball. As, as we turn the ball in this situation, defenders up. As the ball crosses midcourt, this defender comes hard at the ball line. Our nearest defender is going to take away the most likely pass. Our off people, off the ball, end up in the middle area. So we have two people on the basketball, two people in the lanes, and one person as a safety would be all the way back. It's important right here that we don't kind of deny this guy, but we get right into here and let him know he's not going to make this pass. If we wanted to go to a 22 series, back off the original spots, the minute difference is in how we play the wing. In this case, we don't want to deny that wing. We want him to catch the ball. And a lot of offenses start by a guard initiating a guard to wing pass and then cutting through. If they do, this is a very effective trap. This time the ball crosses midcourt, and as it's passed, the defender on the ball goes and follows. Again, we rotate to take one pass away, the near pass here, and the near pass in the post. Let's go to 23. 23 is a run and jump or a blind trap. The first two traps, they see it's coming. Okay? In 23, we're going to turn the ball, and now from the weak side or the blind side, our near guard defender is going to rotate, and everybody is going to step up toward the ball. One important teaching point. If you're going to trap, you're going to take some chances. Don't end up with cautious players in terms of people down on the baseline. When a trap is coming in the midcourt area, you need all of your defenders up to the free throw line extended. Make somebody try to throw a lob pass over the top, and you've won half of the battle. Okay, in this case, let's come from the blind side. We turn the ball, and here's our trap situation. The rotation would come to take this away and still allow us plenty of recovery time. Now, if 21, 22, and 23 are effective, what now becomes very effective is when you bluff a trap. For instance, in this case, our, our wing people are just going to yell out, trap, with a lot of movement. And we're going to try to make this guard here pick up the basketball. Now, everybody gets back to their original place and what you have is the ball being entered into the offense from a deep area. Keep in mind what we've done. One, we've narrowed the court. We've pushed everybody to one side of the court. Two, we forced them to operate from way up high here offensively, out of their normal comfort zone and what they want to do. Three, if we could get a steal, great. But if we could force a turnover or force a bad shot or take them out of rhythm, We've executed all of the good things that are going to happen to us. What we want to do is make sure we don't give up an easy shot. The fifth type of a trap we use 
is, is what we call a, a, a geek trap where, where we leave a guy who we think is the least effective player and we allow his man to roam and go and trap on sequence. In this case, I will be the defender who, who's covering their worst player. Let's say that worst player is in the far side of the court. Well, what I'm going to do is as we get into stance is go to the normal help line. My man is over in the corner. I come to normal help side positioning. And now I don't just randomly run. I wait until the ball is in an inopportune time for them. For instance, it might be like this, a guard to wing pass, and our guard has gone away. I read this. This is where I talk about basketball IQ. This guy is now isolated. This is a good place to trap right here. Our guard is isolated. Maybe I have a guard back up top who I feel is overhandling the ball. And so I start to move all the way up here, and I pick a spot. Now, I need help from my defender. What he has to do is just play the ball, keep his head on the ball at all times, and that will allow me to come hard. Now, now, if you would for me, offensive player, um, execute, move to your left and execute a reverse pivot. Move to your left, execute. Right at this point there, I run through the ball. I'm not even going to bother trapping. If he's dribbling, I'm going to run through the ball nice and low and force that turnover.